Hey guys, welcome back. So this week's movie was Metropolis and the movie takes place in the future. It tells the story of a city that is divided between the working class and the planners. And Freder, which is the son of the, the city's master, um, falls in love with the with this prophet named Maria that predicts the the coming of a savior that's gonna mediate between the working class and the planner and their difference. So for the element of myth, we can clearly see the dystopia theme in this movie. Um, there's a lot of tragedy, there is um, a lot of people dying throughout the movie so we can clearly see that the environment is not good so it's not a good place to live. So technology can be seen in two ways throughout the movie. First we can see it as a life force because um, the machines are the ones that are keeping the city alive but you can also see it as uh, a symbol of destruction because um, the machine human is the one that causes all the death and the destruction of the city at the end of the movie. Another element of myth we clearly see in the movie is the Tower of Babel. And this is the story that explains uh, the origin of the different languages. And in the movie, it plays a different function. And the function is to tell a political moral story about power and a division of uh, classes. Um, we have the, the hands, which are the workers, and we have the brains, which are the planners. And what the workers question the most is the, the communication between the hands and the brains. And that's kind of the main problem that we see throughout the movie, the main problem that's affecting the city in general. We can see that there is an open world, which is the head, um, a middle world, which is the heart, and an underworld, which is the hands. So in the movie, the the upper world is the, the wealthy and the city master. Um, the middle world is the machine, and the underworld is the worker city. In order to survive, there has to be a communication between the head and the hands, and that's through the heart which keeps the body alive but in the movie the the heart which is the machines uh keep the city alive so there has to be a mediator to to establish a balance between thought and action and in this movie freder is the mediator that maria said one day will come so he's the one that at the end of the movie um kind of unites both the working class and and the brains so there are many symbols throughout the movie. One of them is the sign of Solomon. And this is the five pointing star that we see behind the machine human the first time uh, we see it in the movie. And this kind of symbolizes uh, protection against evil spirits. And it also, it, it's also associated with uh, Christian mysticism and magic. So hell is the name that it's given to the machine human. And this is related to the the myth of hell. And the myth of hell says that she is the goddess of the underworld and the dead. And in the movie, um, this machine human is the one that causes all the destruction and the death of many people during the rebellion. So um, another mystical element we see in the movie is the whole idea of the whore of Babylon. And she represents temptation and, and temptation that leads to death. And we see many scenes in the movie when, when the men are uh, looking at her and they're killing each other because of her. So I think the main element of ritual that we see in this film is the human sacrifice. And um, workers die every day trying to maintain these machines um, that are keeping the city alive. And this is only for the creation of power, uh, especially political power. So there is a human sacrifice to maintain a political structure in the city. So for the element of filmmaking, I think the two uh, major points that we can see in this movie are music and acting. Uh, the music is very important because since the, the, the film is silent, um, the music is the one that's keeping up with the tone of the movie. Um, acting is very dramatic, very, very expressive. Um, the facial expressions are very overdone. Um, and since there is no um, 
language or dialogue between the characters. This is very important. Um, this is how it has to be done. So overall, I liked the movie. It was um, completely different from everything we've seen so far. Um, it was black and white. Um, it was silent. So this is the first time we've watched the film uh, like this um, throughout the whole course. Um, so I enjoyed um, watching something different. Um, it was very interesting. It had a really good point and it kind of relates with things that we see um, in society every day. Um, technology and also uh, technology dependence. So that's something that we see every day um, in today's society. Um, so this is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.